you know, six months ago, I dropped my husband Michael off at 4 a.m. for another year-long deployment. And I watched him and 230 soldiers pick up their two duffel bags of belongings to go to a country they'd never been all in the name of protecting America. They're willing to sacrifice their lives and their families because they still believe in this amazing experiment that is America. So if they're willing to sacrifice for us there, shouldn't we be willing to fight for America here? Because we have a country to save. But in order to save her, we've got to acknowledge some hard truths. Republicans have lost the last seven out of eight popular votes for president. That is nothing to be proud of. We should want to win the majority of Americans. But the only way we're going to do that is if we have a new generational leader that leaves the negativity and the baggage behind and focuses on the solutions of the future. Another hard truth. I think President Trump was the right president at the right time. I agree with a lot of his policies. But rightly or wrongly, chaos follows him. You know I'm right. Chaos follows him. And we can't have a country in disarray and a world on fire and go through four more years of chaos. We won't survive it. You don't defeat Democrat chaos with Republican chaos. And we can't go through another nail-biter of an election and risk getting a President Kamala Harris. That should send a chill up every person's spine. And you look at these head-to-head -head polls against Biden. DeSantis doesn't beat Biden. Trump is right head-to-head. -head. On a good day, he's up by two. Wall Street Journal had him up by four. That's margin of error. We're going to have a nail-biter of an election. I'm in every one of those same polls. And head to head, I defeat Biden by 17 points. Do you know what that does? That's bigger than the presidency. That's governorships. That's the House. That's the Senate. That's all the way down to school board. You go into D.C. with a, a double-digit win like that, that's a mandate to get our out-of-control spending fixed and to fix inflation. That's a mandate to get our kids reading again and go back to the basics on education. That is a mandate to secure our borders. No more excuses. That's a mandate for law and order in our country. And that's a mandate for a strong America we can be proud of. Don't you want that? Because we could have it. But in order to have it, it's going to take a lot of courage. Courage for me to run. Encourage for every one of you to know, don't complain about what happens in a general election if you don't play in this caucus. It matters. When I announced, they asked me why I was running. I said, my parents came here 50 years ago to an America that was strong and proud and full of opportunities. I want them to know that country again. I'm doing this for my husband, Michael, and his military brothers and sisters. They need to know their sacrifice matters. They need to know that we love our country. I'm doing this for my daughter who just got married, and I saw how hard it was for her and her husband to buy a home. The average home buyer in America now is 49 years old. The American dream is going away from us. And I'm doing this for my son, who's a senior in college, and I am tired of watching him write papers of things he doesn't believe in just to get an A. That's not us. That's not America. And for the first time, 81% of Americans don't think their kids are going to live as good of a life as we did. We can't be okay with that. I'm not okay with that. We do have a country to save. But I'll promise you this. If you join with me in this movement, if you join with me in this fight, I promise you, our best days are yet to come. Thank you very much. God bless you.